Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another video. Um, usually I do reviews about, you know, of TV shows, music, and movies and stuff like that. Um, but today I want to talk about politics. Um, because obviously it's a hot topic and we talk about hot topics as well as reviews on my channel. And obviously this is a long time coming. Um, I wanted to make a video about it a long time ago, but I just wanted to put a lot of, not that this is going to be a negative video, but I just want more positive uh, videos on my channel and things that people can talk passionately about. Um, and I know that people are very passionate about politics, but people are way more aggressive about politics than they are about movies and music and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and so I'd like to start out with by, and I'm going to be as nice and as positive as I can be about each and every subject that I talk about. Um, because it's just nonsense to just continue to be harsh about things because, you know, I think that politics, people, um, even like relatives and friends and stuff, they, they forget that they are relatives and friends because of politics and that's absolutely ridiculous. I there's no reason to um, hate another person for having a different view. Um, that being said, I do wholeheartedly believe that President Donald Trump is the worst president that the United States could ever have. Um, <clears throat> him and his cesspool regime, as I call it. Um, his whole, all of his cabinet members are all criminals. Um, obviously we've seen all the, the court hearings and all of that stuff, um, because of collusion and all this other stuff going on because, like, he, he went out of his way to make sure that he found the worst people possible to be put in these positions. And it's ridiculous. Um, he's a billionaire. He could have put anyone in. And instead, he put the worst people in. Um, you put um, that woman that's in charge of the education there. She's all private school and money bags. And she's going to be in charge of the public school system. Ridiculous. Um people that are all about nuclear power and coal and all this other stuff that's not about renewable energy and you're going to put that guy in charge of the environmental protection. Ridiculous. <clears throat> now, I am not against Donald Trump because he's a Republican or a conservative. And before anybody jumps on me about being a Hillary Clinton supporter, um... I actually voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary when they were going against each other. I do believe in Bernie Sanders' message completely. Um, the problem is, is that everyone is like believes that this president and his lies, like he lies so much that he believes his own lies and he lies so much that people actually believe him, which I think is absolutely hysterical, even with facts thrown in their face. But um, I'm not about party. I It so happened because I was a registered Republican um, and in order to vote for Bernie Sanders, I had to change my party because I live up here in New York and they have different rules, laws, regulations, whatever. So I had to switch my party to vote for him in the primary. It's a Democratic. Now, he's not the only reason why I switched to Democratic. Um, there was... There was more than one person that I wanted that I was passionate about and that I wanted to vote for in the same party. That's why I changed parties. And um, I do agree wholeheartedly on more of the democracy part. 
Um, <clears throat> so, when Bernie Sanders was running the first time in 2016, yes, um, and you also had Leslie Dinksburg, who was going for New York State Senate, so, and she had the same ideals and ran the same way as uh, Bernie Sanders did, and that's why I was more passionate about her. And I was like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Um, my friend Stephanie actually got me involved with the um, with the local Young Democrats around the area, and so everything was moving really fast. And um, <clears throat> it's just a subject that I'm really passionate about. And um, obviously, all of us have our own um, view of how our country should be ran. So, with that being said, Donald Trump. So we're going to talk about the good, the good and the bad. So he lies nonstop. We pay for an endless amount of golf tri of golf trips that he's been on. Um, he's involved with so many criminals, literally, that have been drawn and you know taken into court and all of that good stuff. And so, so we have a lot of bad. He believes in nuclear power and coal energy, or, you know, coal mining and all that other stuff. He doesn't believe in renewable energy. Um, and just a lot of things are being dismantled. Healthcare is a big thing. Um, I know that a lot of people are very split on healthcare because Obamacare and all that other stuff. But realistically, the only real problem with Obamacare, because it is affordable, um, I did have it, and it is affordable, so the people that say that's not affordable are lying. Um, the only, the only um, problem, and I think that this is where Bernie Sanders is on the nail about this, is... <clears throat> Instead of penalizing people, which was really the biggest uh, issue with the Obamacare system, is that if you if you didn't have it by tax time, then you were penalized for it, and the penalties would go up with each time you were hit with a fee or whatever. I do believe in universal health care. I believe that... We already pay taxes, and instead of paying for endless wars and for a billionaire to go on golf trips, I do believe that that money could be easily spent on taking care of our fellow Americans. And it's really sad that people proclaim to be all patriotic and everything, but they're against universal health care. That's, that's literally... Your, the irony and the hypocrisy of it all just kills me. And <clears throat> so we have the whole universal health care that everyone's going all crazy about because government shouldn't be in health care and all this other stuff. But really, no one's keeping these uh, pharmaceutical companies in check or these, uh, these insurance companies in check. And we do have the biggest prices of um, our... Uh, medications and everything and it is really ridiculous and it should be dealt with now Donald Trump on one of his promises that everyone thinks that he keeps or that he kept for his um, campaign promises um, the first thing that he did on live TV was or one of the first things that he did was on live TV he was in a room with the phar pharmaceutical industry people, with the big, you know, CEOs and everything, promising that he would demand lower uh, drug prices and that he would get results. Well, none of that has changed. All of it's the same. And um, <clears throat> so, and, and and the real kicker of it is, is before they even 
Because instead of repealing Obamacare, they should have fixed what was wrong and went with what was good. The only thing that really was wrong was the penalties, and he really didn't change that. So why are you repealing something without having um, a backup plan, without putting other coverage on people? Other people that are, you know, universal health care should just be a thing. As well as renewable energy, and that's huge. We are, we are disgusting humans. We pollute the earth. We've really, really destroyed it. And um, so many animals have went extinct, and um, it's bad. The pollution in the ocean is terrible. And there's no reason and it is completely unacceptable to not want to go to renewable energy something that's not going to harm or destroy our planet something that's especially kill off species of animals or destroy our resources and honestly anybody who is bought by any any huge uh corporation um should not be running in politics, should not be a politician. And I do believe that there should be term limits. Um, and I think that with a revolving door, because of term limits that should be there, um, it would always constantly put fresh new faces in there with different ideas. And, um, and everything would be constantly changing instead of the same old cesspool of Washington being bought out by corporations and destroying our planet and and taxing the hell out of our citizens. <clears throat> As we pay for state taxes, we pay for federal taxes, we pay for taxes on all the products that we buy. Like, it's absolutely asinine and ridiculous. And it's absolutely ridiculous. And um, the level of discrimination and racism and all of that is just... Our country has taken, like, a huge step back. <laughs> and it is completely unacceptable. We are in the 21st century, and we are still dealing with racism. That should have long died out a long time ago. Literally, you're stupid if you judge someone simply by being a human with the only, literally only other difference is the color of their skin. You're stupid if you live that life of judging others not by their actions but by their skin color and I, I just don't get it it doesn't um, get through to me and I just cannot comprehend the stupidity that goes on behind these wannabe religious people who preach love and God loves and everything, and you're the first one to judge somebody because they love another person. And let's also not skip the fact that um, most of the Bible Belt is, you know, down south. And they're the ones that owned all the slaves when there was slavery which obviously doesn't exist anymore, so there shouldn't be racism, but there is still in the world. And they're the ones that cause the problems with another person loving another person just because they're the same gender, but they can go rape children and get away with it and think that that's perfectly fine. That's disgusting and unacceptable. <clears throat> and um, God is supposed to love all. Well, I'm pretty sure that God, God who is a white man, man and white, 
<sighs> accepts your child abuse, but would judge somebody for the color of their skin or loving another person. Doubt it. Um, I also find it absolutely hysterical that Jesus is also white and um, Mary was a white woman and a virgin and that Peter and Paul were both white men and didn't sleep with Mary and, you know, doesn't make any sense to me and I haven't seen any talking snakes around, so, but anyway, um, just a fruit for thought on uh, the religious political aspect of it all and if, re if um, religious groups want to intermingle themselves in politics, then they should be taxed, just like all the rest of us. They're the biggest the the biggest problems that the world has ever faced when it it comes to leadership is when a leader is religious and um goes on a warpath on their own people just because they don't celebrate their own religion or are part of their own religion. <sighs> religion has caused so many wars. Which one do you believe? There's so many. And the Bible has been interpreted and translated literally, literally at least hundreds of times, if not thousands. Um, <clears throat> and it's just so absolutely ridiculous that humanity was cursed because Eve ate an apple. Really? A fruit. An apple. Something that's good for you and nurturing is what caused our curse. And again, doubtful. And every time you see it, because Jesus is white, every time you see it too, Adam and Eve are is are, are a white man and a white woman. Both have belly buttons, which means that they came from an umbilical cord, which means that they had parents. Um, but they are always portrayed as white. But we have literally several different races, from Asian to blacks to whites. You have Indians, you have Arabics, you have, like, a whole... There's so many colors and variety of people that there's absolutely no way that um, they came from two white people. And sorry, that's a train that's going by right now. Um, <clears throat> so... Again, fruit for thought, um, not to make it all religious into my political rantings, but, um, so this coming year, in 2020, uh, Bernie Sanders is running again, um, but this time we have so many great candidates, and I don't want to take all the attention off from Bernie Sanders because... Bernie Sanders and, and Elizabeth Warren are my two options when it comes to voting for next year for presidency. Um, but there's so many good ones that are that are coming out of left field too. That represent something different, new ideas or ideas that should have been in motion. A long time ago because it would have done so so many great things um <clears throat> next year uh tracy matrano is running for a new york state congresswoman and she is not bought out for from corporations or anything like that she is um front porch politics she is for the people by the people and um I do believe wholeheartedly that we need to get rid of all these really obnoxious uh, politicians that remain in office and are doing so much damage and who are bought out by corporations. For, that's the first red sign that anyone should see is if they're bought out, goodbye. They do not. I don't know why or how. No one doesn't it doesn't set off a red flag for anyone when politicians are bought out by corporations 
for not even for one second should you believe that that politician works for you. They work for a company. They work for a corporation. They get paid millions of dollars from that corporation to do their bidding, whatever that may be. And most of it is the fossil fuel industry and the pharmaceutical industry. Which is why our planet is going through its pollution and humans are destroying everything and also because it's okay. That's the president, the precedence that we set and, um, and the pharmaceutical industry. That's why the prices of drugs is not going down, uh, medical drugs. And, um, it's absolutely ridiculous. There is absolutely no reason why we cannot go to renewable energy and why people do not, I don't want to say overthrow the government, but why people don't vote in all new people that don't have any kind of a corporate background when it comes to being if you have corporate donations bye don't want to vote for you um it really has no i'm i'm absolutely completely sure that uh political viewpoint from both sides um would change drastically if there was nobody in politics that was not bought out by a corporation there is no doubt in my mind that things would dramatically change without being bought out by a corporation. <clears throat> That's the truth of the matter because they're so head deep in the, the pavement that they, they can't get out of it. They are already accepting millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars for each of their campaigns and everything. They're not going to turn that down. They're not going to turn that down. They come first, them and their family, not the American people like they promise or they tell you and you believe. And that problem is on both sides. That's not just Republican. That's not just Democratic. That is our whole political system. That's why I believe in people that go for politics versus people that are already in politics or people that are bought out by corporations. If you come from front porch politics, which yes, Bernie Sanders does run, even though he's been in office forever, um, he runs campaigns by the people for the people. And that's exactly what should be in office. Uh, people give Alexandria Cortez so much crap, um, which I don't understand how or why Republicans think that they even have room to even um, trash talk her when their own president has... We're, we're just not even going to get on that subject because you have no room to judge somebody else if you support Donald Trump. So we're just going to get past that. <clears throat> um, Donald Trump does not represent... Uh, a party he represents himself and his corporate friends and he anybody that believes otherwise is extremely naive um, the only thing that I've seen good come from Donald Trump literally the only good thing and I will give credit where credit is due is the fact that he is trying to pass bills to make it easier and more accessible and affordable for veterans to have access to health care. And that is a big, that's a huge thing. But if that's the only thing that's going for you, that's that speaks a lot about you. If that's literally the only thing that um, is, you know. But <clears throat> let me know what you guys think. Um, Please keep it civil. I know that a lot of people come at me for criticizing the president because there's so many Trump supporters in the world, but that's fine. Um, I, I really, if you are somebody that doesn't support renewable energy or think that you are patriotic, but you don't even believe in universal health care, that 
is literally beneficial to all the U.S. citizens, then you're not really patriotic, now are you? Um, <clears throat> and that's hypocritical. So, <clears throat> there's like so many big topics that I wanted to cover and so many um, things that I wanted to talk about because um, I've seen so many people lose friends and family over politics and why 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 stress yourself out over silly things or people because politicians are people when they're mostly bought out by corporations anyway I could see like and back in the good old days yes because I've been alive for since the first Bush, so we had Bush, Clinton, Bush, the second Bush, and Obama, and now Trump. So I've been alive for a few presidents anyway. Um, the biggest issues were, and the biggest divide was um, people's different point of view of how the country should be ran. Now it's different points of view on how much money can we make as politicians and how much do we have to lie to the American people to get our way and be reelected. And, you know, they'll feed into and believe us when we tell them that we've actually done something when we haven't. So <clears throat> there's a lot of issues that need to be addressed in the world. And pollution is a huge one. Um, the pharmaceutical industry is a big one. Renewable energy, it's all... These things should already be a thing. I... And I know that a lot of people are going to say, well, it doesn't matter because I'll be dead and it's a problem for future generations. Why well, think like that? We have one planet that we know of that has life on it and it is Earth. So why not take care of our home? We have one. So there's no reason just because you're going to die eventually, maybe someday, at some point, that you... Because death is guaranteed for everyone. But there's no reason why we have to be disgusting people and ruin it for future generations. It is not their fault that we are scummy and that we are doing terrible things to the world. It is not their fault that our generations have been selfish and worthless to the planet. So why should they have to suffer for our decisions? Because our decisions have consequences. And there's just no, it's unacceptable, and there's no reason to not better the world for our children and our grandchildren and our grandchildren's children. There's no reason whatsoever that we should be polluting our world and destroying our and dividing so many people and having so much hate in the world and destroying our world I mean it's really just a hot mess the world isn't a bigger hot mess than Donald Trump's presidency and that's saying something so we need to get our shit together and step up to the plate and change. Otherwise, why are we here? We are all here for a purpose. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here at all. So make your purpose count. Make it good. And stop destroying our planet. And let's take care of each other. So... Because we are all we have. We have one home. So that's the end of my rant. <sighs> um, if you like what I have to say about um, 
these topics. Make sure you comment underneath this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, and give me a thumbs up. Um, I want to hear people's different sides and hopefully people can be mature and adult about it and um, not get too nasty with it because it, it's really not going to do anybody good if they're just fighting back and forth instead of saying this is what we need to do like how our country used to do it not you know so have a great day guys